Visage Clinic in Toronto. Today I have a special customer. Danny is here to see us. We met a few weeks ago because Danny had uh, his ear gauged or gauged uh, many, many years ago, and we decided today to reverse the process. So, uh, Danny, maybe you tell us why you had that done and how many years ago? Uh, I had it done about four or five years ago, and at the time it was popular. Yeah. So with the tattoos and all that kind of stuff, I thought it would be cool to have it. Um, I'm 32 years old now. I have a little baby and she likes to pull on my ears. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided, you know what, it's time to repair them and maybe in three to four months get regular piercings again. Mm -hmm. You know, so I googled uh, the best plastic, plastic surgeon in Toronto and your name came up. Thank you. So I called you guys and here I am today. So earlobe repair, I do many every Monday for many, many, many years. So this is a very common procedure I do under local anesthesia here at the clinic. If you come a bit closer, um, what's interesting with Danny is he's got both ears that were uh, pierced and gauged in the past, but this one is longer, and this one has a very tiny little bridge left of the lobe. And this one I will do a different technique than the other side. If I do both the same way, this one would be very conic and that would not be very nice. So this one would be a wedge excision, but very small. And if we go on the that's other the one side, the baby pulls up. yeah, that's <laughs> it. And this one here, he has a very healthy lower lobe edge, very nice and thick. So I'm going to treat the gauged hole like an elongated piercing in ladies with long and hanging earlobes. Come a bit closer, I'll show you on the diagrams here. So this is his right side, and he has a very long, we call it cleft in uh, plastic surgery terms. And if I do a whole excision and close, like I'm gonna do on the left, he's gonna get a very pointy earlobe. So in this case, on his right, I'm gonna do a little wedge, smaller than this, but this is just for demonstration. So a little wedge excision and close, and there's gonna be a very, very hard to see little line when we're done. On the right, on the left side, it's more like what I see in older ladies with dangling earlobes, dangling earrings. He's got a, a little hole that needs to be closed because inside the holes or the cleft, you have normal skin, skin to skin will never heal. So we have to freshen up the edges, but in a very small, almost microscopic way, and then I'm gonna close this in the front and in the back, but I'm gonna leave his earlobe intact. This is Earlobe Reconstruction in Toronto. Thank you very much.